Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, as you know, it's just nearly Christmas is round the corner and I've started preparing a few things uh, in anticipation. And what I am going to show you in this video is the uh, stocking fillers that I usually do for my daughter, my son, and for my pet, cat Andy. I do not have his stocking, uh, my pet's stocking, because I can't find it. I think it's somewhere in the attic. I haven't yet brought down the decorations from up there. I just got the stockings from the drawers, so this is what I have. So I will show you what I usually put in, and yeah, my son said, mm, maybe this year you could put in a little bit of something a little bit different so I will still be filling up uh, with a few uh, surprise little presents so yeah I will show you what I got so guys this is uh, the stockings that I have for the, my children so you can see they are quite uh, big stockings uh, this one is for my son Bartosz uh, and this one is for my daughter Renata so it's just I usually do tend to put uh, the same uh, kind of gift so it doesn't matter whatever letter they have they tend to have the same things maybe for my son he doesn't like certain things so I will just have a few different things uh, but yeah so those are the stockings uh, I usually hang them because we do not have a fire mantle I usually hang them on the corridor uh, the staircase uh, going upstairs and uh, yeah I do attach these ones together with uh, the other one that belongs to our um, pet cat Andy so these are my usual regulars so as you can see I usually have a father Christmas uh, for both of them um, I do have Smarties, so we are talking about uh, Nestle Smarties, so these are the usual ones. Uh, for my daughter, I usually put a box of Ferrero Rochers because uh, that is something that she likes. Uh, I put in the sweets as well, so every one of them has their own packs. These are actually uh, good ones because they are not the, your usual big packets for a family uh, size. These ones are just kind of like for individual pack size. So they are good for uh, buying for us, uh, uh, stocking fillers. So uh, I got these ones from my local supermarket, little. So I think if you pop there, you can find they are good to go. Uh, I have the uh, milk chocolate uh, cones and uh, I also have um, some milk chocolate uh, figurines, so every one of them has the same. So this is for my son, uh, milk chocolate cones, and then my children, they really, really like this uh, after um, eight. So these are delightfully minty dark chocolate uh, thin kind of biscuits which are really really nice and I usually buy uh, both of them the same so they actually have the same oh this is new uh, I haven't seen this one before uh, Elizabeth's show is I haven't seen uh, what it's all about but my children they like mint uh, honey uh, cob uh, crisp so these ones we are going to try out this year so I just thought it will be a good different addition to uh, their Christmas stocking this year and another thing they usually buy for them is also cool uh, matchmakers mint so this as well I uh, will be putting in so this is what I got for my pet cat Andy uh, I will be putting a couple of this uh, because I am not quite sure with him uh, you cannot try uh, you cannot buy too many uh, treats for him if you haven't tried them out so I just bought this one uh, one of it and then I will try it out if he likes it then I will put a couple of this into his uh, stocking and a few other things um, yeah 
what uh, Christmas is all about the mint chocolate uh, coins and this ones I usually buy plentiful of them plentiful of them so for each and every uh, stock stocking I will put a uh, three to go with each and every stocking so there we go and then this one is the other spare um, chocolate uh, figurines that will be going with this so bear with me as I do fill out the stockings. So I will usually put the big packs in. Make sure I shake it up nicely because it will be hanging on the staircase for the next uh, month before they are eaten up. Uh, Christmas uh, morning and in the days following. So I will put my Ferrero Rocher and then I will try to put this boxed stuff as well. Still enough and plenty of space. another box stuff and then I will put this uh, seven eights I will put uh, a few more last bit I usually put in is obviously the Father Christmas uh, figurine because that is the main show, uh, show, uh, showstopper so we we'll have to see have a look I'll make sure Father Christmas is nice and visible Yeah, so that is how my Christmas uh, stocking looks like for this year. And yeah, I will. Uh, there is still space to put in uh, just a little bit of surprises, maybe a jewelry uh, set, something which is not costing too much, but something which yeah is a little bit of a surprise. So we shall see. I will show you as soon as I hang. Uh, the stockings in the uh, circus uh, and as I will be showing you anyway our Christmas house tour maybe in a week or two when we put up the Christmas decoration so guys I think uh, I have shown you a little bit of uh, the preparations behind us uh, getting ready uh, for Christmas this year and I do hope that yeah you've uh, gotten some ideas of things that you can put in I know is uh, a lot of sweet things but Christmas is there for us to celebrate and just have a good time and especially for the kids to just have fun so guys if you've enjoyed this video please do remember I will be uh, starting Christmas vlog uh, soon uh, maybe in a week or two and I will be sharing with you all the preparations and the house decor and everything that is all Christmassy so just to uh, start the Christmas season I do hope you are going to enjoy this sneak preview of our Christmas for 2022 so guys Please do remember, you can always uh, like, you can always uh, leave a comment and you can always think to subscribe and join our YouTube family as we continue on this YouTube journey. So thank you very much for stopping by and I do hope to see you in the next one. So bye for now.